Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Polio Jr. And in today's video, I just wanted to show you something very simple that's been out for a little bit. Um, I believe it came out with Windows Vista, um, but it really wasn't uh, utilized that much. And it's actually something built into Microsoft called uh, Ready Boost. And Ready Boost simply is where you can use a USB drive, thumb drive, whatever you want to call it, um, external hard drive. Um, so you can actually use that to increase your uh, computer's performance altogether. So essentially what it does is it allows uh, the USB to sort of act like, uh, like memory. So now, typically, if you really, if you have like a really souped up computer with tons of RAM and, you know, a, a, a um, not a SAT, a, a solid state drive, you really don't need to use this, but it's always worth testing out to see if you do, um, you know, some sort of increase in your system's performance. Uh, most people get uh, the best system performance out of this when they have not, when they don't have a lot of memory in their computer or laptop and they want to speed it up. So basically uh, what ReadyBoost does is it allows, um, it allows the, the USB drive to sort of act like virtual memory. So instead of retrieving it from the hard drive, it'll retrieve it from the USB drive, which is actually, which is typically faster. So anyway, simple thing here. Uh, this at least should help you in a, in a, <laughs> in any sort of fashion to help increase uh, your system performance, especially with Windows 10. So the first thing you need, obviously, is a thumb drive, a USB drive, external hard drive, whatever it is. So you'll see here. I have a two terabyte hard drive, uh, external hard drive. And what I'm going the first thing that we need to do is format it. So I'm going to format, right click on it, format it. And I'm just going to call it uh, extra RAM. Um, make sure it's on NTFS, quick format, start it. Okay. Uh, yes two terabytes and usually the quick format doesn't take too long. It typically just depends how big the external drive is. So on this laptop, I actually only have 12 gigabytes of RAM. Um, if I bumped it up to 16 gigs, it may not ask me, like it may not actually qualify to be ready for it. Um, but the faster the drive is, um, and if it's a 3.0, if it's a USB 3.0, then typically you'll have the option to use Ready Boost. But these, I'm actually, this is all a USB 2.0. So what I'm gonna do is right click on it, go to properties, and then you'll see an option here called Ready Boost. It'll see if, uh, if the thumb drive is capable of providing Ready Boost. Now, if it doesn't, that means you're fine. That means that there's no need for it. The Windows doesn't need it to increase any system performance. If you do see this option, that means that yes, Windows can use this uh, ready boost option to increase the performance of the computer. So the only thing about, I would typically use it as, um, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, a, a spare thumb drive that you have. Um, you know, this is an, I have a whole bunch of extra uh, USB drives, so I'm just using this one, but always keep it plugged in no matter what. Now, so we'll click use this device, leave it at what the reserve space is at the highest. Hit apply. Okay. And that's it. And now if we go into here, the, I called it, I call it extra RAM. I click on that. Now we see that there's an actual cache uh, file on the thumb drive. So we've essentially created uh, sort of uh, like virtual memory. So, which is pretty cool. So instead of, like I said, instead of, um, you know, the computer trying to receive files from the hard drive, 
it'll actually go and receive it from the thumb drive, which is quicker. So the PC loads the files onto the thumb drive to get it ready. And then when you start up the program, everything's there, everything should start up a little bit more quickly. So, and let's just say time goes by and you don't need it anymore. It's really simple again, right click on the thumb drive properties and go to the tab ready boost. Do not use this device and hit apply. And that's it. So now it is not being used as, um, you know, basically virtual memory. So that's it. So uh, ready boost was, like I said, it was definitely on Windows. It started at Windows Vista and it's available on Windows 7, 8, 8.1 and Windows 10. So um, if you feel like your computer is slowing, you know, has slowed down a little bit, obviously the best thing is to put more physical memory in it. But if you can't do that at this moment in time, then this is a really good option to use. So, but yeah, that's it. I'm not going to dra <laughs> drag this out. It's very simple. So if the system is a little bit slower than, than usual, then I would definitely use Ready Boost. Um, but that's it. Very simple, very easy to use. And you can stop using it anytime with ease. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure to check out the live stream for uh, our Amazon gift card giveaway as well as the, um, you know, the, the latest cryptocurrency videos. And there will be more of those coming out as I'm doing more research and seeing that uh, cryptocurrencies are really, uh, um, you know, really the future here. So, um, but anyway, that's it. Ready Boost, easy to use, helps you out a lot. And that's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.